What's up you guys, it's Graham here. So I put a lot of time, effort, and thought into making this video, and it would mean the world to me if you guys gave it the chance to watch it all the way through. Plus, if you're interested in becoming a real estate agent, I have a clip at the very end with one of the best ways that you can get listings that many people seem to overlook. So that's at the very end, so make sure to watch this all the way through so you don't miss out on that. So let's start here. Many of you guys have asked me to create a course on how to be a real estate agent and talk about topics like where do you get your real estate license? How easy is that to get? How do you interview a brokerage? What sort of questions do you ask on that? How do you negotiate commission splits? Where do you meet sellers? Where do you meet buyers? How do you negotiate deals? How do you even make money in the business? I've been asked every single question under the sun over and over and over again, and I've been asked repetitively to make something like this. Originally, this is something that I wasn't interested in doing and I shrugged off the idea, but as the channel started to grow, I ended up getting literally thousands of messages from other real estate agents or people interested in getting into real estate asking for either one-on-one -on -one coaching or real estate consulting. After getting request after request, I just warmed up to the idea and figured, you know what, I may as well just give it a shot, see how it goes, and I began setting up just a few one-on-one -on -one coaching calls, you know, here and there, maybe once a week, twice a week. But as my schedule became busier and busier and busier, I started realizing that taking the time to schedule these calls is taking me away from working as a real estate agent and also just taking my time away from everything else that I need to focus on. And from doing this, I realized that I pretty much don't have a life outside of work and it pretty much consumed me. I just didn't have time for anything else and because of that, I really suffered as a person and that when I'm not a well-rounded person, everything else tends to suffer along with that. And it became really apparent that there were two issues with this. The first problem was that I ended up getting a lot of the same questions over and over and over again. Many agents have the same sticking points. They wanna know how to get leads. They wanna know how to convert those into sales. They wanna know better negotiation tactics and other little tips and tricks along the way Way to hold them accountable to actually make sure they're following through with what they say. And then from there, it's really about fine tuning the systems that they already have in place to really make it the most effective as they can. The second problem that I realized was that coaching calls just weren't scalable. I am just one person. There are only a certain amount of hours in the day. There are only a certain amount of hours in that day that I'm not working on YouTube or real estate or just anything else that I have going on. And there's no way that I can scale that. Eventually that's only sustainable for so long before there's a tipping point and I realized that pretty quickly when I had no time left over for anything else. Now it was at this point that I began reevaluating which route I wanna take, how I wanna go about doing this and it was at that point that I realized that in order to make this work, I have to do something that's scalable, that doesn't require me to invent hours in a day that just don't exist. So with a lot of thought behind this, I decided to go ahead and actually create a course answering all of the questions I've ever been asked and everything I can think of, of starting your career as a real estate agent, making money in the business. It's basically a decade of everything I learned in the business and everything I wish I knew when I first started. Just just brain dumped on the internet. Now, this was my biggest hesitation and my biggest fear going forward with something like this, in that I know there are going to be people who are opposed to me selling anything, offering a course, or seeing as maybe like selling out or anything like that. But from my perspective, this is the only way that I could expand what I'm currently doing in a way that's scalable, that doesn't cause me to go crazy without a life, and literally like I've been doing lately, going to bed at 2 a.m. and then waking up at like 7.30, it's just not sustainable. This is also a way that I can offer value for the people that are really interested in that, and if you're not interested in it, I'm never gonna be forcing it down your throats or like pitching it every video. I'm not into that, nothing's gonna change with that, but at the same time, if someone is interested in it, at least it's available, and I can assure you, I have thought extensively if this is something I wanted to do and if this is the route I wanted to go down. I built my entire channel on being as transparent, open, and honest as possible and I intend to keep it that way. And I did not want anyone to think that I am just trying to sell out or monetize the audience, trying to make a quick buck because frankly, that would be the furthest thing that I'm ever trying to do. And I am in this for the long haul. And from the way I see it, the value of this course is gonna be worth way more to the person watching it than I'm gonna be getting in return. And by the way, there's no way in hell that I would ever sell a course that wasn't 100% worth it, that would entirely ruin all the work I put in and my entire reputation and everything I've worked so hard to preserve. And anything I do outside of that just reflects on my reputation as a real estate agent and there's no way I would do anything to risk the decade of work I've already put in on that 
just to cash out on something that wasn't worth it or something that was just crap. There's, you guys know me by now. There's no way I would do that. So with that said, if I'm selling something, it better be the best damn course that ever exists on the history of the internet. And that brings me to where I am today. I began working on this months ago by creating an outline of every single question a new real estate agent will want to know. I've incorporated just about every single question I've gotten on Snapchat, on Instagram, on YouTube, and everything I wished I knew when I first started. This outline was nearly 20 pages long. And then what I did is I went and I passed it by over a dozen other real estate agents to review it and see if I've missed any points. I then spent over a month filming and editing this. Keep in mind, I would wake up at 8 a.m., go to work as a real estate agent until about 6 or 7 p.m., eat dinner, and then pretty much from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Every single day, I was filming and editing, and then I would take Saturday or Sunday off all day. I would work like 16 hours straight doing as much work as I could while still at the same time putting out three videos a week. You guys didn't notice any slippage in videos because that's how dedicated I was to doing all of this. At the same time, I basically barely slept, didn't have a social life, sacrificed a lot of stuff just because it was so focused on making this work and I figured like if I'm doing this, I 100% I just have to go all out with this. And this resulted in nearly a hundred videos covering over a hundred topics and over eight hours straight of footage. Imagine if you just took all of the videos on my channel and you compacted it into just how to become a successful real estate agent and you did that all in like a month and a half. That is pretty much this course. And then when I finished that, I ended up passing it by a few more people to review it just to get their acceptance on it that this was okay before I ended up making it public and having other people see it. Because again, the last thing I would want is to put something out there that wasn't 100% just amazing. So with that said, this is pretty much everything I know about becoming a real estate agent and I'm calling this course the Real Estate Agent Academy. Keep in mind that this is not this like get rich quick magic pill. Working as a real estate agent honestly is like a long-term career. This should not be something that's going to be used in like I'm going to do it for a year and make 100k. Realistically, that's not what this course is meant for. This is a actual career. This is something that I would hope you would do for at least a decade and really hone your skills at this and work at this. A course is not something that's just gonna magically make you successful. This is something that is going to give you the tools you will need, but you're gonna actually have to do the work to build the business that you want to do. And even if you're currently working as a real estate agent, this course could still benefit you if you're looking to expand what you're currently doing. Now just remember, this is strictly how to be a real estate agent. It does not cover anything with real estate investing. It does not cover anything with real estate wholesaling. It is strictly, if you wanna be a real estate agent, this is the course for you. So with all of that out of the way, if you're interested in becoming a real estate agent, I'm gonna be giving $50 off and early access to the course before it officially goes live if you sign up for the pre-launch. So when you sign up for this, I'll email out the coupon code as soon as the course goes live in the next week or so. And again, you'll get full access to this prior to anyone else knowing about it. And then once it goes live on YouTube, it's just gonna be the regular price. So if you're at all remotely interested, you may as well just sign up for it. You get the 50 bucks off and then decide later if it's something you wanna purchase or not. If you go for it, great. If not, that's totally fine too. I'm never gonna be one of these people that's ever gonna like, you gotta buy it now. If you, if you don't do it now, you have five seconds to do it now. Otherwise, the deal's gone. It's all gone. We're closing up. Oh, I only have one spot left. I, don't don't worry about that. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Just like, you know, it's a promotional thing. It's for a week. If you don't do it, that's fine. If you do it, great. But I'm never going to be one of those like sleazy sort of salesy people. And lastly, don't ever worry about this channel changing or me just making videos now to like pitch off the course, try to like sell as many courses as possible. Nothing is changing and don't ever think that I'm like withholding information that's on the course from posting it on the channel for free. There are some topics in the course though that are just so obscure that it's not worth me making a video on because it's such an obscure like niche focused topic of becoming a real estate agent. So little things like that, yeah, I'm not gonna be making videos on that. But if you're serious about becoming a real estate agent and you wanna know everything from A to Z, condensed as much as possible with every single thing you will need to know in the order you will need to know it, then yes, I think this course will greatly benefit you. And lastly, I just wanna thank everybody for their support. This is something that I have been so nervous about making and doing, and I'm sure even as I've posted this just now, 
my heart's gonna be racing as this goes live and I'm just like, oh my God, what are people gonna say? What are people gonna think? Because I really, really care. And I don't want anyone thinking that I'm just trying to sell out, that I am just trying to like pitch some course, and that I'm just trying to like make a quick buck because that's never been my intention. And at the end of the day, it really comes down to just me needing to do something that's scalable, where I can still work full time as a real estate agent, that I can still go and buy properties, that I can still go and make three YouTube videos a week like I have been, without driving myself crazy, but with still providing value that for people that want to become a real estate agent can really use. And I really believe in this and I really am proud of it and I just entirely stand behind it. So with that said, here's a three minute clip from the Real Estate Agent Academy course detailing one of the best ways to get a listing that many people overlook. And this is something you could do as a brand new agent with zero experience and is one of the best ways to build up your business. Now keep in mind too, this is three minutes out of over eight hours in the course. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you again for watching. Until next time. So now I want to talk about one more amazing way to go out and get leads and that is to drive around the area that you want to work in and find homes that are under construction. A lot of the time these are going to be homes that are going to be flipped and sold. And many times too the person who's flipping it hasn't quite decided on a realtor yet. It doesn't have a listing signed on that home yet. This is a great opportunity for you to get in early show them what you can offer and get the listing by the time it's ready to sell. So to start on this, I highly recommend that you drive around the area that you really want to work in. When you find a home that's under construction, feel free just to walk in and try to get in contact with the owner or maybe a head contractor. If the owner's not there or the contractor's not there, ask whoever's working there when they're going to be back. And then whenever you find out when they're going to be back, show up at that time. If you show up again and they're still not there, ask them again, when are they gonna be back? Keep going, keep going, keep going until you can either get in contact with the owner or the contractor. Now when you reach the contractor, ask them if the home is gonna be sold or if the owner is gonna be moving in. If the owner's planning to sell it, see if the contractor is willing to give you the owner's information. And then once you reach the owner, you can explain that you're a real estate agent working on that area and that you have many buyers looking for homes that are not on the market. And then from there, you can begin offering your services and see if it'll be a good fit to list their home for sale. Even if you don't end up getting a listing on that home, if the owner's still willing to sell it, you can use that home as a pocket listing. So if you have a buyer or you know of another agent that has a buyer who's looking in that area, you now know of an off-market home that is pretty much a brand new construction or you know a remodel that's about to come on the market. You're gonna figure out the price ahead of time from the owner. And then from there, you can introduce the other agent or that buyer to that property. Now again, like I had mentioned earlier in this course, it is so important before you introduce anybody to a home that's not yet on the market, you have an exclusive listing signed by the seller and the person you're introducing to that home. So important you always get this in writing because the last thing you'd ever want to do is introduce a buyer to a home that's still under construction, you don't have any listing on it, and then the buyer somehow gets in contact with the seller and then they do a deal behind your back and just to cut out the commission. You don't want to do that if you ever introduce somebody to a property get a buyer exclusive sign before or get an exclusive listing sign before you introduce anybody to a property. It just protects you. But with all of that said, going and driving around and finding homes under construction is such a great way to go and get listings and very few other agents do it. And when an owner sees that you're the type of agent to drive around the area, to focus on an area that much, to go and walk in a place that's under construction and try to get the listing on it. It shows how ambitious you are and how hard you're gonna work to get that home sold. So you may as well use this to your benefit, take advantage of this, offer your services here, or if anything else, just have it as a pocket listing for you to use for any buyers who are looking for something not on the market.